that situation where you've got a couple and even if, you know, they've got children between them and they've never been married to anyone else, it's just a, you know, a 2.4 children sort of scenario, which is getting more and more rare, isn't it, as, as we go on. Uh, if, if say, say, say the, the husband died first and he died prematurely in his 30s, well, you would hope that most people would want their partner to go on and have another life, you know? Some people wouldn't, you know, but... Uh, but how can you guarantee that the, the three children you had between you are going to in inherit from your hard work? Because, you know, you went out to work, like as maybe as your wife did, uh, and you want to make sure that they benefit. Because the issue is, if the surviving widow goes on and marries a 25-year-old Spaniard called Juan from Benidorm, uh, or Pedro, uh, and comes back. We know a story about that, Dan, don't we? Uh, uh, comes back, and, and they, they get married, uh, that revokes the existing will. So the wife of uh, the, the gentleman who's died yeah. has now got a new spouse in law. Yeah. Uh, there is no will because marriage cancels all wills, revokes all wills, unless you put a certain clause in. Okay. Yeah. So see where we go? So, so you've what, got a situation. What's, what's that clause called? <laughs> it's called a, a non-revocation of marriage clause. So that means... Uh, like couples typically who are, who are just couples at the moment and they've got no intention to get married, we still recommend put it in your own will because if you have that mad moment in Cyprus or, or you, you're you on holiday or you go to Gretna Green and you think, oh, we're going to get married, we'll do it, but at least your will will still be in place. You've still got those same intentions because if you get married without that will uh, or without that clause in a will, then you've got no will, have you? And then all of a sudden you're intestate without knowing it. And that's not good. That's one issue. So, so there's all these complications, you know. That is amazing. Uh, but, but the key thing is you, you can write a will in such a way where you can put trust planning in there that says, so if we deal with the main house, let's take that as a typical sort of main asset for most people. I, I die yesterday. My share of the house, I can change how it's owned at Land Registry. My share of the house will be of use to my wife going forward for the rest of her days. And, you know, she can move and downsize all the rest of it. Uh, there'll be trustees involved in this, you know, of which she may be one. Uh, but what it says ultimately is no matter what she does in the rest of her life, she can never give away my half of the value in that house because it must go to my children. Mm. Do you get that? Yeah, it's, it's clever. Think about it. So people think about wills as everything to you, everything to me, then to the children. We always say, do you want to upgrade this? Because here's the situation. We call it a, you know, a gold digger trust. Potentially... You, you die, the wife, your husband goes on holiday after he's been grieving for three months to Thailand. You know where we're going, don't you? Uh, we're led astray too easy, us men, apparently. 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 And, 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 you know, a new life. You bring back someone from Thailand and, you, you, you know, you have this exciting new life, a new relationship. Uh, but how is your children protected? And, you know, most people would want, both of them would want their children protected, wouldn't they? Whatever this person yeah. does well, in the future. You'd, you'd hope so. So let's put some good trust planning in place, you know. That's why you need advice. That's why do not do these £19.99 online wills. Do not go to WH Smith's and buy a pack and then put it in your drawer forever and a day. It never gets done. We've seen, or I personally, I, you know, it's hard to put a number on I've probably seen thousands over the years where I've seen clients over that 35 years where they've gone, oh, I bought this. Yeah, it's been in there 10 years. You know, I meant to do it. Take advice. Do it properly. 